Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, I'm finna give y'all some NBA 2K23 tips, and I'm gonna give you the top 10 jump shots in NBA 2K22, and you they might be the top 10 and uh <laughs> 23, you know, jump shots every year. They're usually always like OP. Like if if something was OP in that year. It'll be OP in this year. You know, it carries over a lot. And especially with the new system, it could get very confusing. So you're going to want to pay attention to these jump shots. I'm going to give y'all a ton of tips on how to shoot in NBA 2K23, man. If y'all didn't know, bro, it is going to be harder to shoot NBA 2K21 current gen-esque. Okay, y'all know 22 is one of the easiest shooting 2Ks. So y'all are going to want to need these tips. Um, a lot of people don't know this. I swear to God, I'm going to show y'all the best badges, how to practice your shots and the best jumpers. So make sure y'all watch this full video. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. If you want some VC for NBA 2K23, comment down below 2K23 and your Twitter. So firstly, man. I have 101%. I lagged out these games. Um, I never lost. I also have games on next gen. That's why there's not a bunch on current gen. I've never lost. I play with bots. And um, as y'all can see, I went to play the stage isolate. And y'all know on current gen, uh, to, to go 167 to no, man, you, you gotta be that nigga. Look at me on top of all these stupid bitches, nigga. Cole, what the fuck you thought, nigga? You can't fuck with me, nigga. Your name is Cole. So firstly, man, in NBA 2K23, if they have this and in this, okay, show all your friends this. You need to do this and you need to do it well, man, okay? You need to do it well. You're going to do this little test with the right stick and shit. And make sure you do it good because then you get 25% or 20% off of um your Gatorade. And look, I know I'm not, I'm not, I'm just telling y'all how the game is, bro telling you how the game is look i can show y'all my uh discount you see i got a discount that adds up over a year so you want to do this in the beginning a lot of people don't ever do this okay so they be having to pay an extra you know 1k that shit adds up my boy i promise you now if you guys didn't know your stamina is reflecting to your jump shooting ability man you know i don't want to be that guy Okay, if you're not in deep, don't buy it. But if you're in deep, you know, and you want to optimize your struggling or something, or you're going to go play comp, you, if you know you're going to go play comp, you want to buy the Gatorade, okay? This shit affects your dribbling. Your, your, the more stamina you lose, the less your ability goes away, especially in 23-2. And then they say you lose even more stamina. So you know they making us buy all three of these bitches. You used to only have to buy one, but now they're making you have to buy all three for the double blue bar, plus the gym rat shit. It's corny as fuck. Y'all niggas need to flame them on Twitter. Flame all them next maker double twist gawking bitches. So they make this change, bro. You know, they nerf the ability of the game, so we have to keep buying shit like this. This shit shouldn't even be an option. It should already be applied or it shouldn't be there, bro. The shit is corny. It's a scam, my nigga. But yeah, <laughs> this Gatorade shit will help you shoot way better. If you are a guard, okay, Um, if you're a lock and a center, nah. But if you're a guard, you need this shit, bro. Not gonna hold you. And this is for next gen and current gen, man. So jump shot boost. You always need the jump shot boost. It just helps your ability to shoot. If you can play without them and stuff, don't do not do it. But I'm just saying, man, you want to increase your ability, you got to buy it, bro. You don't have to. Like, you could get around with it without it. But I'm just letting you know, if you struggling, you might want to turn to this. Or if you're going to go play comp and you don't want to lose versus certain people, you might want to buy this shit. Again, another thing that wasting VC on. And as you can see... I have a 73 point percent and I don't try for it, bro. I shoot half court shots. I go for trick shots all the time and I have a 70 percent. I don't even try for my win percent. It just naturally happened like that. In 23, I'm not going to try for it again. 
I might definitely play a lot more stage and like just with bots, randoms to get content. So like, I really don't care about win percent. It does not help my channel, bro, at all. <laughs> I don't know why. So, you know, I'm really just, I'm gonna be less cautious, pick up trolls, you know, weak ass niggas and, you know, just try to have fun, nigga. But again, this another year, straight, natural, no try. Another big thing, bro. Okay, you're gonna wanna go to your settings, controllers, you're gonna want to turn off trigger effect, bro. I know y'all be like, oh, you showing these dumbass. Listen, listen. Trigger effect is ass, okay? Every time I play Wreck, especially on next gen, all I do is hear niggas' controllers vibrating. Current gen, y'all might not even have this feature. All I do is hear their shit vibrating, they're barely moving and shit. That shit's terrible. Vibration is cool, right? I like to have a little feel of the game. It makes me feel like I'm there and I, I can react to certain situations and um, I can predict the game more, but that trigger effect shit is crazy. I hear a niggas controller like a fucking vibrator, nigga. I don't know how y'all niggas is grown ass man and you got a fucking controller just spamming vibrations all over your shit, all over your hands. And it's like, it don't bother you, bro. That shit will affect your shooting and all that shit. Take this shit off, bro. It's too much. Maybe you want to do that for shooters or something. But still, that I even think that shit would be too much, bro. Like, when you get shot, your shit just... <laughs> like, bro, come on, nigga. Too much, bro. Take this shit off. Tell your friends, bro. There's too many niggas with this shit on. Also, you're going to want to make sure you have gym rat on your players, bro, so you don't have to do your drills. Because I know some of y'all are going to be too lazy to keep doing your drills every week. That's why I like to get the gym rat in my career. This is also a 2K23 tip, man. Okay? It'll help with your double blue bar. If y'all don't know about the uh, the physicals, um, you get like plus four on everything if you do all your drills right and all that. Or you could just get it in my career and you get the gym rat and that extra speed and all that stuff, it's gonna help your ability to shoot better overall. Definitely need it. And then it gives you the double blue bar. Um, and it, it's all it's all correlated. Look, you're gonna wanna make your hot zones all right in 23 before you play online. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work next year. You might be able to only get them in the park you're going to want to make sure you figure out this information before you proceed with like gaming tweet at the devs tweet uh ask a bunch of people because sometimes you can get your hot zones in my career and then go play online you want to get your hot zones especially since they're taking out hot zone hunter and sniper and they saying it's going to be like 20 21 current gen you definitely are gonna wanna want your hot zones to shoot, bro. It will help you, man, I promise you. Now, I personally like to have vibration on, but this is a thing you could take off. Now, in your settings, bro, some people do this and it helps them. I've done both and I have not noticed no difference. Um, I like to see my shot feedback for everything. Some people turn this completely off, just less delay is what the the whole point of it is they like to turn this off to nothing to none type shit if you're really struggling or you trying to be super comp you know you could do these type of things and with the jump shot splash shit they take everything off me personally i don't notice a difference and i've seen some uh comp you know people who won the 3v3 tourney and for the pro-am and you know, stage people always having the shit below them and having a sound release and the uh, the uh, animation above. But in 21, it's going to be harder. Like 22 is the easiest shoot in 2K, so you might need an advantage. This is just things to consider for 23 and this year if you're just going to keep playing it. And you don't even fuck with 23, man. But yeah, now this is the best place to practice your movement and your shots. A lot of y'all don't know this. Um, this is on current gen. This is not on next gen. It might be in uh, the next uh, shit for 23, 
but you definitely want to look for something like this um i'm sure they're not going to take this out but what you're going to do is hit x look as you can see play games with friends i invited um some my career nigga to come play i don't even know who i picked you're going to want to go to the personal workout you're going to need this on 23 2 man and you're going to do the matchup and you're going to try to cook the computer and then take your shots and it's not going to have the lag delay but it's just something you you can tell if a shot's good man you know you know just cook his ass real quick type shit um yeah you know okay so i'm gonna help y'all with y'all badges man how you should run them this is mainly for a pg okay the typical meta play shot build okay you don't want to go to hot zone hunter on gold you don't need it on hall of fame go ahead keep it gold if you are shorter okay if you're a shorter play shot you're gonna want mismatch expert hall of fame if you about like uh six four type shit um a height where it's not three inches or below like the typical lock then you might not want mismatch on like hall of fame stop and pop you definitely want on hall of fame okay um or maxed out to whatever your build is sniper go ahead put that shit on hall of fame lucky you always want bronze on every build you use now if you if you get hall of fame blinders go uh hall of fame i hear gold don't really help at all so it might be no beneficial to put it on if, if you only have max gold badges but hall of fame blinders is top notch you know what let me show y'all how the actual order okay you actually know how to crab niggas this is you know right here okay this is like the second best shooting badge then you probably want to put this hall of fame this hall of fame this hall of fame bronze bronze then i like to make gold chef you could put hall of fame and i like to put bronze circus threes on current gen because you're gonna get some fading shots now for next gen bro circus threes is hall of fame i mean if y'all need help for next gen y'all can basically understand where i'm going but circus threes is hall of fame on next gen but y'all get where i'm going so y'all can transfer this for y'all next gen players like y'all will under y'all know y'all know what it is but um chef i definitely have a hall of fame too for uh next gen you get more shooting badges on next gen and then i would like run green machine on like bronze type shit but this is, you know, this is how you should order your badges overall. And like, if you have a lower three type shit and like lower badges, you will definitely want to have clutch shooter on like silver. Okay. Overall. Okay. Now let me show y'all the best badges for spot up lockdowns. And then I'm going to do poppers. You definitely want corner max. You definitely want catch and shoot max. You definitely want Sniper Mac. Then you want Lucky 7 Bronze. Yeah, I would run your shit like this, okay? Some of y'all have gold badges, so um, you might be able to swing shit more overall. But um, yeah, this is like the bases. These need to be maxed, bro, okay? Um, a lot of y'all be having blinders on, green machine, fucking Max Deadeye fucking relax bro like max green no you're not getting that many shots up bro tighten up get it together my nigga now this would be for a popper man now you're gonna want gold hot zone uh maxed out sniper maxed out catch and shoot lucky seven silver bronze stop and pop then I put it like this, and then I would either make gold, and these are more important, gold chef or gold limitless spot up, whichever one you know how to activate the most. And to activate this, you have to be at the hash. So yeah, man. So if you not really like that, you know. Yeah. Um, this is like off the dribble usually, right? But um, yeah, bro. You know, I would rock shit like this. Okay. Lottie, everyone I play with always has wrong badges. Okay, now here is the best jump shots, man. Let me go ahead and show you. This is my number one favorite 
jump shot right here set shot 25 release 148 release 49 okay this is super uncontestable you might not think it is it's the most uncontested fastest jump shot in the game i'll use it on all builds if i was you but especially guard builds and um if you can handle the speed which is pretty easy bro if you use all the tips i told you it's pretty easy and another the most major tip bro is it don't matter if something has a bigger green window if something has a higher make percent if you get your shot off fast enough to where there's no contest you keep the origins of what that shot really is when you're when your shot gets contested the all the effectiveness gets a little nerfed right so if you get that bitch off clean it has a way higher percent of, of going in bro like seriously and this shot can't be contested now this jump shot right here i would put probably second best a lot of people use three a lot of people use set shot 25 more people use three but i believe this is a, the best version of three best nice releases and super fast these are the fastest jump shots in the game these two shots will get you right my nigga uncontestable shit now i'm gonna show you another fast shot that could even be better for you than rose or set shot 25 and that is derrick rose release 148 lamarcus aldridge and um yeah this the blending i got test it out man these hoes is super fast and they're nice rose might be better than all of them well i don't think it's better than set shot but it could be better than three for you okay and set shot you might not fuck with it but i'm telling you man these three shots you will be good my nigga be sure to test them out next year too 2k don't change up much um usually shit that's good in the previous years be good next years that's why everyone got all these new tips that i put out years ago crazy right <laughs> no credit <laughs> now here's a slower shot for spot ups and even guards bro i absolutely love this jump shot this is how i got all my stats on current gen bro i was not using set shot 25 or jump shot three the jump shot is slow compared but everything's green everything's in everything is in it is the most easiest timing jump shot i really think poppers and uh niggas in the corner i really think this is for y'all especially if you can't handle the faster jump shots it just goes in bro everywhere i'm at i'm telling you bro it's so easy to shoot with this shot it just goes in but it's a little slower you know um I, I like it it's funny niggas always talking shit and all that but bitch go in eh? and we got good old reliable right here the curry this hoe goes in a lot too and you make a ton of whites on it it has probably the highest make percent out of all shots overall and with like enough speed and shit but um i put set shot seven above this so these are the top five jump shots Okay, so if those jump shots didn't work for you, man, I got some different type of jump shots that y'all probably never seen. This is for like big man locks type of stuff. It's kind of fast. And um, you know what? Kumpo. You know, base. Um, it's pretty easy to green. It's kinda kinda, you know, it's you know, it, it ain't like too fast, but it's it's fast for a big man. The release to help you not get contested and the KD, my boy try this hoe out too okay i see some people rocking uh 110 man it's a fast jump shot you know high green window man y'all y'all could try this hoe too you know got the releases right there <laughs> bro if you can't green with them bro set shot 25 is the best but these are just different options you know check them out do do what you will do what you will here's another nice jump shot people really fuck with uh larry bird for some reason I'd recommend using jump shot three if you can't handle the speed of 25 and you just might want to switch off of 25 because they're saying jump shots is a little slow but i don't know also jump shot three just straight rudy gay my boy here's another solid jump shot bro kobe bryant you probably don't see a lot of people use this and if you can't hit well any of these jump shots i don't know what to tell you man y'all go try some of these jump shots 
Come back, tell me how you feel about it. Make sure y'all hit that like button, turn on them post notices. Gonna be helping you with all the tips in 2K23, man. Go check out all my uh, 2K23 vids, my record randoms. They're absolutely hilarious. And yeah. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.